the first generation folding screen Vivo X Fold has the confidence to integrate the hardware and the launch time is not urgent. This second folding screen Vivo X Fold Plus is a small step fast running pursuit. The product rhythm of Vivo can be said to be a flywheel on a bike, which is accelerated. Since this second folding screen product is named Vivo X Fold Plus, it is obvious that it is not a replacement for Vivo X Fold, but makes some small upgrades based on it, adding more plus materials. Looking at the big brother Vivo X Fold, which is still a good hardware parameter table, Vivo X Fold Plus mainly adds three materials, chip, battery and fast charge. The chip is easy to understand. After all, Qualcomm has regained its reputation through the improved energy efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Of course, the Vivo X Full Plus has also replaced the gun. Let's start with the regular benchmark test. In the more commonly used folding state, the Geekbench 5 scored 1326 in the single core benchmark, and 4009 in the multi core benchmark. The 3D Mark Wildlife benchmark also scored 10,000, and the Antutu benchmark scored 1,045,743. For comparison, the Vivo X Full Geek Bench 5, equipped with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, scored 1229 in single core, 3556 in multi core, 9660 in 3D Mark Wildlife, and 976452 in Antutu. The performance improvement of Vivo X Full Plus is quite obvious. In addition to the improvement in extreme performance, the continuous performance output of Vivo X Full Plus under heavy load is also more durable. The stability in the 20-round stress test of 3D Mark Wildlife reached 82.8%, compared with the previously tested stability of 65.4%. Vivo X Fold is much better. Such an improvement means that the Vivo X Fold Plus can have a more stable performance release, even under heavy GPU load for a long time. This is also confirmed in the actual game performance. In the highest quality 60 frames of Genshin Impact, the boost performance mode of the system is turned on, and the frame rate of Vivo X Fold Plus in the first half of the game is relatively stable. Basically maintained at 55 to 60 frames. As the game progresses, the temperature of the body gradually increases, and the fluctuation of the frame rate also begins to increase. In the second half of the game, the temperature of the body should trigger the temperature control limit of the system, and the game frame rate will briefly enter the Sage Mode lock. 40 frames, when the temperature cools down a little, the frame rate starts to rise, and then starts to cycle. It should be noted that, because the internal screen will cut the game screen, and in order to keep the test conditions consistent with the previous generation, this time the Vivo X Full Plus S Genshin Impact game test is carried out on the external screen, so the heat dissipation conditions will be harsher, and the game process is also a mixed scene of running in the wild and fighting monsters. In the final half-hour game test, the average frame rate recorded by Vivo X Full Plus was 55.2 frames, and the average power consumption was 2.5 watt. Due to the dual cell battery used in the phone, the actual average power consumption should be 5 watts. Compared with the previously tested Vivo X Fold, the operation of locking 40 frames in the whole process was immediately withered after entering the game. The average frame rate of the game for half an hour was 39.6 frames. The performance of the Vivo X Fold Plus with the new platform was much better. All I can say is, thank you, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. It is worth mentioning that with the upgrade of the chip, Vivo X Fold Plus also uses a new modem baseline, and the phone supports dual 5G dual card dual pass. When one card is making a call or using a data network, the incoming call of a card can also be connected smoothly, which can avoid the embarrassment of missed calls or game disconnection in daily use. As for the upgrade of battery capacity and fast charging, Vivo X Full Plus is taking the route of walking fast. The battery capacity has been upgraded from the previous generation Dual Cell 4600 mAh to Dual Cell 4730 mAh. Although it seems to be only a small increase of 130 mAh, don't forget that the processor has also been replaced from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 to a Snapdragon with an improved energy consumption ratio. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, so the overall improvement in battery life will not be perceived as weak. The official introduction is that the battery battery life of the whole phone is expected to increase by more than 20%. Due to time constraints, we have no way to do a complete battery life test on Vivo X Full Plus to verify whether the official statement is true or not, so I will share my own experience here. According to my personal usage habits, the most important ones are Weibo, WeChat, Station B and NetEase Cloud Music every day. The external screen is mostly used for a long time. In general, the screen brightness is about 5 hours, and there is basically about 20% left in a day of battery life. If it is replaced with the Vivo X Fold that has been used for a long time before, the battery has basically become red at this time, and it is necessary to start panicking and quickly find a urine bag to continue. Therefore, although the improvement in battery life of Vivo X Fold Plus cannot be called a rapid upgrade, the slightly larger battery and more power-saving processor are no problem to ensure daily use throughout the day, and it can also allow me to go home calmly, plug it in and recharge. The charging speed is also faster. The power of wired fast charging has been upgraded from 66 to 80 watt. In actual use, it takes 38 minutes to charge from 1% to 100%. 
Compared with the Vivo X Fold with 66 watt fast charging, the time taken is roughly the same, all maintained at about 40 minutes. But this does not mean that the actual fast charging performance has not improved. The higher P power is more reflected in the charging speed in the first half of the journey. It can be charged to 58% in the first 20 minutes, and the blood recovery speed in the first half is faster. In fact, if you have the habit of wireless charging, whether it is Vivo X Fold or Fold Plus, it is quite difficult to have battery life anxiety. After all, they all support high power wireless fast charging. Vivo X Fold Plus continues to be equipped with the top specifications of 50 watt wireless fast charging and 10 watt wireless reverse charging. It is not only a unique existence among folding screen products, but can even ruthlessly mock some candy bar flagships. The Vivo logo on the back has also been replaced with a brighter gold color, and the frame of the fuselage has also been replaced with a glossy chrome color from the other two color matte metal matte finishes. Other hardware configurations have successfully inherited the mantle of Vivo X Fold. After all, even today, its hardware specifications are still very capable. The screen is still the two Samsung E5 OLEDs. The outer screen is a 6.53 inch 21 by 9 single sided slightly curved screen, and the inner screen is an 8 inch 4 by 3.55 large screen. The display effect of these two screens is still the first class level among the current folding screen phones. Both internal and external dual screens support 120Hz high refresh rate, and there are similar screen fineness and almost the same color and display. In addition, the internal screen desktop UI directly combines the two external screen desktops. The internal screen gives me the feeling, it's like putting two external screens together. The Vivo X Fold Plus switches back and forth between the unfolded and folded states, and the experience of using the two screens is very coherent. To what extent is it coherent, whether in the unfolded or folded state, you can unlock it through the ultrasonic screen fingerprints on the inner and outer screens. In terms of cameras, the Vivo X Fold Plus also inherits the predecessor's set of flagship 4 cameras at full focal lengths, or that sentence, it is quite capable now. The main camera is a 50 megapixel Samsung GN5 with optical image stabilization, an ultra wide angle 48 megapixel Sony IMX598, a 12 megapixel Sony IMX663 2x telephoto, and an 8 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. 5x periscope telephoto, none of which is a makeup camera, makes it a first-class presence among the candy bar flagships, and Zeiss's optical technology and imaging functions are not absent. The color of the photo is still the full style that is common in vivo to please the eye. The details of the picture are also clear and sharp enough. The control of the noise in the dark part, and the overall look and feel of the picture are also first class. And in addition to the main camera, the other three sub-cameras also have very good imaging capabilities, and can take good photos in most scenes. In particular, the 2x telephoto and 5x periscope telephoto cameras may be used more frequently than the main camera. Even in the state where the lighting conditions are not ideal, these two telephoto cameras have a good picture performance. The main camera level IMX598 Ultra Wide Angle also supports autofocus, which can be used to take some macro photos. To be honest, on the basis of the hardware that has been basically filled in the previous generation, there is not much room for small iterative upgrades of Vivo X Fold Plus. The regular upgrade of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 solves the last core problem of the Vivo X Fold Plus. Coupled with the increase in battery capacity and fast charging power, the battery life of the phone is more fully guaranteed. As for other hardware specifications, it is still an integrated stack, with two Samsung E5 flexible screens inside and outside, dual screen 3D ultrasonic fingerprint recognition, full focus quad cameras that are enough to challenge the candy bar flagship, and even USB 3.2 Gen 1. This is a flagship phone, but it is made into a foldable appearance. Of course, with such a large and complete hardware configuration, it is impossible to be small and beautiful in terms of the relative thickness and weight of the phone. Having said so much, it may be enough to summarize the Vivo X Full Plus in one sentence. This is still the most powerful folding screen phone on the market. What are your thoughts on this phone? Write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day and see you soon.